Hey y'all, welcome back to Proving the Truth. Welcome to today's video. I hope everyone is having a happy Saturday and enjoying your day. If you're new to this channel, please click that subscribe button down below. Be sure to tap the notification bell beside it so that you'll be notified when I upload new videos. And as always, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share. So this video is going to be a little bit on my thoughts of another prepper video that I had just watched earlier today. And it had a lot of great information, even though the news article, or not news article, but the article had been written a long time ago. It had a lot of really good information on some of the stuff that could happen if our power grid goes down, which is one of the main things that we talk about right now, because there is a lot of power grids currently going down. And we're talking about like with millions of people in the system with it going down. So Alaska Prepper had put out a video earlier about six totally insane things that will happen if our power grid goes down. And in this article, it lists out six different things and gives you kind of a rundown of that. And it was extremely awesome information, whether you are a new prepper or an old prepper, that this person had written in this article about the things that could happen. Because I think a lot of times when you think of power grid down, you mainly think of like, well, I won't have lights and I won't have no way to cook. So, you know, I'll just have to figure things out. You know, I won't have my big major appliances. But when the power grid goes down, if it was to be, say, a countrywide catastrophe or a worldwide catastrophe, either way that this was to happen, this could have major consequences, not just little ones. You know, a storm comes through such as hurricanes or tornadoes or something. And a lot of us have been through that. Uh, down here in Alabama, we have tornadoes come through. We've had ice storms come through. And our power systems are not the greatest. Like, if we have a blizzard that happens, like some of them crazy storms that we get over so often, you know, our power grids can be down for weeks. And after a few days, it really starts wearing on you. You know, you're used to being able to go flip a light switch. You're used to being able to go open the refrigerator and get what you want out of it. To be totally thrown all the way back into a whole different, you might as well say, era of life. You know, 1800 style. Just at one time is a big mental game that I don't know if a lot of people are prepared for. Especially when you start considering the things like he was talking about in this. Such as all your commerce will cease, you know. You're not going to have no access to anything because if the power's not on, you're not going to have banks and ATMs working. You're not going to be able to go to the grocery store and just purchase food if you don't have that food at home. Communications are going to shut down. Right now, so many of us rely on cell phones, on emails, on the internet to communicate. And if that goes down, you know, we don't have, most of us don't have a way to communicate with anybody. So the communications go down, you know, the fuel that, we used to run all of our vehicles to run tractors if it was to happen for long term and things like that is not going to be available you know them pumps have to have power to pump that out of them tanks the restrooms wouldn't be there if you had to purchase it so it's a lot of lot more stuff that i think a lot of people really sit down and think about uh not only if it goes on for a long time there was another one and stuff like that talking about the plumbing and things like that but on uh, pharmacies you know people that are on life-saving medications you know they're going to go to the pharmacies those are going to be looted but you know most people has like three months supply maybe six months supplies of prescription drugs because that's about all that you can get unless you've got really really lucky and somehow stocked up ahead of time but that's going to start running out if it starts lingering on and then pharmacies are not going to be open to go get it and then that's not counting the violence that's going to come from people that are on the types of drugs and medication that are not prescribed to them, you know, on the street and things like that. The mental state of people around you is going to start declining after a certain amount of period of time. And it's going to get into a very bad situation when those people start running out of that. The life-saving drugs, you know, people could start dying from that. And you can start seeing massive die-offs on count of that right there. But then the people on the streets using that kind of a drug, you're going to start seeing withdrawals. You're going to start seeing any way that they think they can possibly come up with it. 
and things like that. So mentally, stuff is really going to start happening that's just going to start cascading down the longer like something like that happens. And a lot of times when you really get to think about it, you think, well, if you have a proper community, you can all come together and defend yourself. It's not that big of a deal. But if you're in a highly populated area, there's less preppers. The proper community is smaller than the majority of people. So you're kind of outnumbered on a lot of stuff. So if you're in one of the really, really large populated towns and areas, you could be outnumbered. And at the same time, it could be not safe to try to leave your home. So it puts you in a really bad situation with everything that's going on. So mentally, I don't think a lot of people are actually prepared for what could really happen in this power grid situation. So I'm going to leave a link to this article down below so that you can go and read it too because even though just like he said even though it's an older article however the power grid system was to go down or however it happens to go down this is very good information to give you points to start thinking about on the things that could happen and maybe ways to prepare against that or just uh fix fix your area where you live against that so that you can be more prepared if it's something that maybe had slipped your mind or maybe something you have read a long time ago, but you have forgotten about it. Maybe it's got put on the back burner or something. So it is some really good information. So I'm going to leave that link down below. You can go and read all of this information right here and come up with your own conclusions on what maybe you need to do in your area to be prepared for it. So thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Stay safe. God bless you and keep prepping.